So the whole to be Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about market low demand and su elektrik stansiyası ümumiyyətlə nə deməkdir? Və su elektrik stansiyalara Good morning to everyone. I am an English teacher and today I am going to speak about modal verb. What is uh, a modal verb? A modal verb differs from full verbs because uh, the full verbs uh, interrogative and negative forms are used by means of auxiliary verbs. For example, I go to university in interrogative form. Do I go to university in negative form? I don't go to university. While speaking about modal words, the interrogative and the negative form is not uh, used uh, by means of auxiliary words, but the uh, interrogative and the question form uh, are used, uh, uh, and negative form are used by means of inversion. For example, I can speak English. Can I speak English? In negative form, I cannot speak English. What is a modal verb? Modal verbs show possibility, intent, ability or necessity to the action. It doesn't show an action, but it shows the possibility, ability or necessity to the full verbs. Sometimes modal verbs are called uh, helper verb or they are a type of auxiliary verb. Modal verbs can never be used alone. Uh, they always have to be used in front of main verbs. Uh, they are used with uh, main verbs, with full verbs, uh, in order to change their meaning slightly. For example, I, now I am going to give you an example. For example, I swim every day. It means that I swim. I have physical ability. I swim. But when we speak about I can, I can swim, it means that I have physical ability to swim. The first example is factual statement, but the second example uses the modal verb and it changes the meaning of swim a bit slightly. Modal verbs are quite common in the English language. There are more than 10 modal verbs and some of them have uh, their synonyms uh, and uh, they are used in English widely. Uh, the main verbs in English, the main uh, modal verbs in English are can, may, must, uh, should, ought to, shall, will, and so on. Can uh, is the main modal verb in English language. Can is used to express physical and mental ability in English. For example, I can speak English in uh, interrogative form. It is uh, used uh, by means of inversion. Can I use, uh, can I speak English in negative form? I cannot speak English. Can is used to denote uh, the mental ability to. The past tense of can is could. Could is a bit milder than can. And uh, could is used uh, in a slight meaning of permission uh, or uh, uncertainty. And sometimes in question sentences, could is used to denote polite question. For example, I can play chess. I could play chess. Uh, in polite questions, we use in this way. Uh, could you pass me the salt, please? Here, uh, it is used uh, for polite question. And uh, sometimes could is used uh, for uncertainty. For example, uh, 
uh, imagine that there is a knock at the door and uh, I didn't have any chance to open the door and uh, I say to myself, it could be my friend. Here, could means uncertainty. Must. Uh, what is must? Must uh, is a modal verb. A modal verb, it is uh, interrogative form is used, uh, is formed by means of inversion and negative form is formed by means of uh, not after modal verb must. Uh, I must see you in uh, question form, must I see you or must you see me or uh, in negative form it is used as uh, I must not see you. Must is used in the following cases. Must expresses prohibition, obligation. For example, uh, you, are, you must not park your car here. Here, uh, must expresses um, prohibition. Or you must attend all the courses. Uh, siz bütün derslere devam etmelisiniz. Here must means obligation. After can and after must, infinitive is used without any to. Have to is used uh, as a synonym of the uh, modal verb must. And have to has one uh, difference uh, with uh, other uh, modal verbs. Have to changes differing from other modal verbs, have to changes according to the uh, person, for example, have to, has to, and uh, according to the tense form, had to. Only uh, interrogative and the negative form of have to is formed by means of do, does, did, auxiliary verb. For example, I have to speak. Do I have to speak or I don't have to speak? Should is also a modal verb. It is used as a synonym of must, but we should doesn't express a prohibition or obligation. Should is used while we give advice to anyone. For example, if you have a toothache, I advise you in this way, you should see the doctor. And uh, should, uh, would is used uh, as a modal verb and it is translated into Azerbaijan language, arde, arde. For example, when I lived in Baku, I would visit my relatives very often. Uh, will is uh, also a modal verb. It is used uh, to express uh, uh, certainty uh, or uh, it is used to express uh, invitation, offer. For example, uh, you will see me. Yani sen mənə mütləq görməlisən. Or will you uh, help me? Mənə kömək edərsiniz. Uh, will you have a, a, this sandwich? Bu sandwichi yer misiniz? Uh, in this uh, situation, will express offer and <coughs> suggestion. Shall is also a model verb. Uh, it is used uh, to express uh, to ask. Uh, uh, attitudes towards your action. For example, imagine that the room is very hot and I want to open the window and I ask my friends, uh, shall I open the window? Penzerana atım mı? Ne deyirsiniz? Now I am going to speak uh, about again modal verbs and about their primary use and about their secondary uses. Can, must, uh, and may. may uh, I'm sorry, may is also a, a modal verb. Uh, may is used to express uh, uncertainty and possibility and permission. For example, may I see you? 
here it uh, expresses uh, permission. All are sent to room. There are many dark clouds in the sky, and we say it may rain. Joyda qara bulut çoxdur, bəlkə yağış yağdı. Here it expresses uncertainty. Can, again I want to speak about model verbs, can, must and may. They have only primary uses. They can only use as model verbs. But speaking about should, would, will, shall, they have also secondary uses. Should is used as an auxiliary verb. Uh, when we try to follow the sequence of tense, we use sh uh, should. He said that he should come. Or would, its secondary uses, again, it is used when we follow the sequence of tense. Uh, he said that he would visit me in the afternoon. Will is also uh, has a secondary use. It is used as an auxiliary verb in order to express future tense form. Uh, I will see you uh, the next day. Shall is also used to express futurity. Uh, we shall uh, uh, keep our promise if it is possible. In the uh, table, uh, you see negative form of the uh, modal verbs. Uh, <coughs> the uh, modal verbs that I spoke about in the previous page, uh, they are uh, almost uh, common uh, in English. While there are some other modal verbs, uh, for example, uh, need, dare to, or have to, uh, for example, speaking about need, uh, uh, need also has two uses. Uh, it is primary use uh, as a full verb and uh, it is secondary use as a modal verb. Uh, for example, if uh, need is a uh, full verb, it can change according to the person and according to the tense form. For example, I need your help. I needed your help. Uh, do you need my help? Did you need my help? I don't need your help. You didn't need my help. As from the examples, you uh, saw that uh, here need to is full verb and it is interrogative and the negative form is formed by means of did, do, auxiliary verb. But when it is modal verb, it is used by means of inversion. For example, I need buy a car. Need I buy a car? I needn't buy a car. Here in the examples, you say that uh, uh, need the modal verb is uh, not followed by infinitive to. Interrogative form is uh, formed by means of inversion, and the in negative form not was used after need modal verb. We can say all these uh, facts about uh, dare uh, to. Uh, dare to, it means uh, cesareti olmak, cürat olmak, bir şey demeye, etmeye cürat olmak. Uh, I dare to say your fault. Uh, if dare is followed by infinitive with to, it is uh, full verb. And interrogative form is formed uh, by means of do or did auxiliary verbs. Do you need dare say my fault or you don't dare to say my fault? But when it is modal verb, it is uh, used by means, uh, interrogative form is used by means of inversion. For example, 
I dare see, dare I see, I dare not see. All uh, modal verbs uh, show the attitudes uh, uh, towards the uh, full verb. For example, uh, modal verbs uh, here in the table we see that may, might, could, cannot, uh, uh, they uh, express, uh, they express uh, possibility, uncertainty, uh, in uh, they denote a request, uh, uh, and uh, for example, uh, again I want to speak about uh, midnight. Uh, uh, in uh, the modal word midnight, there is no obligation. There is advice in should, uh, should uh, and uh, in the, uh, the past tense of uh, need is didn't need. Some modal verbs can ha uh, have their synonyms. For example, I want to speak about first uh, about can. Can is uh, main modal verb uh, in English, and it has a synonym to be able to. What is the difference between can and the to be able to? The main difference uh, between can and the to be able to is. Can is followed by infinitive without to, but to be able to is followed by uh, infinitive with to. And there is another difference uh, between can and the to be able to. Can is used to express the general ability, uh, physical or mental, but to be able to is used to express, to denote, the abilities that uh, uh, are is given in the uh, period in the exact period of time. For example, uh, we can express in this way: I can uh, play chess. I have ability to play chess. But uh, if we say I am not able to play chess, it means that today uh, or now I am not in mood uh, to play chess. The, difference, the main difference is that. And there is one more difference uh, between can and its synonym to be able to. Can is used uh, for all the persons. Uh, it doesn't change, but to be able to can uh, change uh, in all persons and in all tenses. For example, in mm, uh, simple present tense, we can express in this way. I am able to play chess, you are able to play chess, and he is able to play chess. Interrogative form is used by means of inversion. Am I able? Are you able? Uh, or is he able to play chess? In the past tense, I was able to play chess, you were able to play chess. In future tense, he will be able to play chess. In present perfect, they have been able to see the moon at, at night. And in, even in past perfect, they had been able to overcome the difficulties. It must also have a synonym. Uh, its synonym is uh, have to, has to, had to, ought to, should, and to be to. Uh, in previous uh, pages, I spoke about uh, have to, its interrogative form, its uh, negative form. Uh, and uh, should is used to express uh, adv ad advice, to uh, give an advice to anyone, or to is uh, also used in giving uh, advice. Uh, the difference between should and ought to is uh, should is not used with uh, is not followed by uh, infinitive with to but ought to is used um, is followed by infinitive with to may doesn't have any synonym it uh, can change according to uh, tense form 
in uh, past simple uh, in past uh, simple present it is used I may see you in the afternoon and in the past tense it is it can be used uh, I might see you in the afternoon uh, then uh, all the modal verbs have their past tense form sometimes in some um, grammar books uh, for example for can past tense is uh, expressed by means of could uh, in some grammar books uh, could is uh, given as a pre uh, to indicate present simple for example i can read english or i could read english uh, both of these uh, modal verbs uh, refer to present tense uh, past tense of the modal verbs uh, is formed by means of have plus past participle or verb 3 after main modal verbs. For example, I can see you now or I could see you now. It is uh, used uh, to express uh, in present simple but if we use can model verb in past simple we, we have to say in this way I can have seen you or I could have seen you should and uh, must uh, telling the truth should is a synonym of must and uh, it is used uh, to show probability uh, without certainty. For example, if we say a sentence in this way, her parents must be so proud. Uh, it means that valdeyinleri onunla fəxr etməlidirlər. Uh, here we cannot say the exact certainty and sometimes it is used to show probability. Or my baby brother should be asleep by now. Again, here we cannot see certainty. In this way, we spoke all about modal verbs. Again, I want uh, to sum up and say that uh, not all modal verbs, but some of them have their primary uses and secondary uses. The modal verb shall, the modal verb will, should, would, uh, they have uh, their um, primary uses uh, as auxiliary verbs and uh, they, ha I am sorry, they have their secondary uses as auxiliary verbs and they have their primary uses as modal verbs. There are more than 10 modal verbs, uh, 10 modal verbs, and uh, if we uh, order them according to the expressing certainty, uh, from certainty to, to uncertainty, in the first place there will be can, and the table will be finished with may. In the uh, sentence, Judging by the clouds, it might, it might rain today. Uh, here we see that uh, she may become the youngest pro, uh, pro soccer player ever. In both these uh, sentences, we can see that uh, could, may, or might can express certainty. And. Uh, Modal verb is mainly used in English and it is a traditional section in English grammar. Sometimes need can express in order to come, to command. For example, you must wash your hands before cooking. Here it is a kind of command. It means that you have to uh, wash your hands exactly or you need to be here before eight it may it is a kind of command it means that you must not be late uh, that's all i can uh, speak to you about modal uh, verbs uh, 
I did my best. Uh, thank you that you joined me.